How you doing laying the tables, Izzy? You're usually done by now. Izzy? Oh, I see. Mum used to lay the tables every morning. I know, it's tough without her. But we're doing okay, aren't we? It was Mum that got me interested in cooking. Remember when she let me help make stuffed peppers? I remember. You stuffed them with garlic, tomatoes and anchovies. You wouldn't eat anything else for weeks. <laughs> Morning, Shane. Morning, Izzy. Shane? Izzy? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Right, Izzy? Oh. oh. Remembering Mum. Yeah. Oh. Garlic, tomatoes. Everything looks great. Uh, no red peppers? Oh, there are some in the greenhouse that might be ready. Are you sure you're OK, Izzy? I'm OK. Yeah, she's been spending too much time helping me in the kitchen. What she needs is some girl time. Tell you what, why don't you two girls have a day in town? I'll take care of things on the farm. What do you know about farming? Uh, I run a very busy restaurant. I'm sure I can look after the farm for a day. Well, if you're sure. There are only three things that need to be done today. Uh, feed the animals, collect the eggs, water the crops. And pick the red peppers. So, Izzy, up for some fun? You bet. Bye, Dad. Bye, you two. Morning, Shane. I've got a good catch for you today. Ooh, what have you got there? Izzy and Maggie are having a girls' day out. So, I'm going to do the jobs on the farm. Well, if you need a hand, just give me a call. I don't know if I ever told you, but back when I was just a cabin boy, my crew got shipwrecked on an island. Deserted it was, apart from a herd of a thousand goats. We had to learn how to look after them pretty quick, or they'd have eaten all our supplies. Oh, Shane, I saw Izzy. Is everything OK? Yeah, she's fine. She's going to spend the day with Maggie. Shane's going to look after the farm. I said you should call me if he needs a hand. I grew up on a farm in Tuscany. Maybe I can help. I'm sure I'll manage. See you later. Hmm. Right, <laughs> let's take a look at that list. Hey? Hey, <laughs> what you doing? Give that back. Hey, come back to that list. Let's go shopping first. <laughs> OK. Worried about your dad? A bit. I'm not, so you shouldn't be. <laughs> I only need him to do three simple things. He'll be fine. Millie! Stop! <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh! Ah! Whoa! What's the... Oh! Whoa! I've got some great stuff. Thanks, Maggie. Me too. <laughs> What's next? Uh, ice cream? Millie, stop! Or at least slow down! You! <laughs> Where did they come from? <laughs> Aha! There you go! Two strawberry ice creams. Thanks, Mama Polenta. Your strawberry ice cream's the best. Oh, it's a pleasure, Izzy. I wonder, have you heard from Shane? No, but I'm sure everything's fine. Aha! See? You're not going anywhere until you give me that list. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> Sizzling saucepans! Oh, no, you would! You would! Ah! Oh, not you as well! Oh! <laughs> no need to mope as you coil your rope. Sam! Have you seen Shane? 
fine. No, but I'm sure he's fine. Oh, yes, me too. <sighs> uh, I'll get my hat. Shane, are you there? We wondered if you needed a little help with the... Oh! <laughs> I think we should take that as a yes, don't you? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, huh? Huh? So you do move. <laughs> of course. I forgot you're called Puccini because you love opera. I'll call you right back. I'm just a pushing a pig. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Mama Polenta. I don't think I could have done that on my own. Ah, no problem, Shane. What else have you got to do? I'm not sure. Millie ate Maggie's list. And I can't just pick the red peppers and go. Uh. <laughs> That's it. Collect the eggs. I think we should collect the chickens first. <laughs> oh, right. You ready, Izzy? Here we go. One. Two, three! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Don't let go, Izzy! <laughs> oh, look at that! Great! <laughs> well done. What was next on the list? Uh, ah, feed the animals. <laughs> I'm sure there was something else. Forget your walls as you coil your holes. Oh. No! That's it. Water the crops. But I'm on it, Shane. Great. Right. All I need to do now is pick Maggie's biggest, ripest red peppers. Wow, look at these. Delicious. Right. So, I've got anchovies, some cooked rice, tomatoes, and, of course, red peppers. So, let's get cooking. <laughs> Back of the oven. Ahoy there, Shane. Chores done. Everything ship shape. Oh, brilliant. Dad, we're back. Wow. Well, you two look like you had fun. We did. Your idea of a girl's day out was brilliant. Mmm, something smells good. Mmm, roasted red peppers. Well, we hadn't had them for a while. And as I was going to be looking after the farm, how did that go? Any problems? Um. Shane was just telling us. No problems at all. <laughs> right, Shane? Uh, yeah, no problems. <gasps> Tell you what, roasted red peppers coming right up. So, Izzy, what do you think? They're really good, Dad. Almost as good as Mum's. I bought this to say thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. That's lovely, Izzy. She's quite a girl, our Izzy. You'd be so proud. Recipe for disaster. With Shane the Chef. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packets of tagliatelle. Oh, and that one, which makes it eleven. How's that stock taking coming on, Mama Polenta? Oh, Shane, all this counting makes my head hurt. Hiya, Maggie. Hiya, Shane. I've just harvested my crop of aubergines and I've got so many. Do you want some? Aubergines? Yes, please. I'm sure I can use them for my menu tonight. 
Great. I'll deliver them right now. Thanks, Maggie. Bye. Did someone say aubergines? They certainly did, Mama Polenta. They'll be on the menu tonight. I just need to think of a recipe. Oh, aubergines always remind me of growing up in Tuscany. That's where I'm from, you know. My mama would make the most delicious aubergine parmigiana. Mm, I can almost taste it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It was. That is what you must cook tonight. My mother's aubergine parmigiana. Okay, Mama Polenta, what an honor. I have the recipe here somewhere in all this mess. Huh? Mm? Oh, Mama Mia, where is my recipe folder? Oh, don't worry. I will find it and send it over with Mario. Ah, oh, great. Thanks, Mama Polenta. I'd better go and get ready. Bye. It is. Buenissimo! Mario! Oh, where is that boy? 25, 26. There you are, Mario. 27. Whoa. Ow! <laughs> Mom, I was about to break my keepy-oppy records. That can wait, Mario. I need you to take this recipe over to Shane right now. It's for your nonna's famous aubergine parmigiana. Can't you do it? It's only over there. No, I can't. I'm right in the middle of stock taking, and I'm asking you. Now go. Shane is waiting. Okay. Uh, quickly now, and no messing with that ball until this is safely in Shane's hands. Yeah, I get a go. Finally. One, two. Uh, I almost got three. You're doing it all wrong. Let me show you. But your mum told you not to mess with the ball. I'm not messing. I'm showing you how to do it properly. One, two. Oh, the recipe! <gasps> Mamma mia! We've got to get that recipe back. There it is! I've got it! <sighs> no, I don't. Oh, dear. Almost. Ow. Jay, that's yours! Oh, no. Catch it! Wait! <laughs> Jay, get it! What the? Ah, get it off! Get it off! Ah! Sorry! Well, I guess. Oh no! Catch so it! Get it! Here you go, Izzy. Hey, over there! Bye! Come on! Oh, yes! Ah. No! <gasps> Tickle my trawler! The recipe! No. This is bad. Very bad. This was my grandmother's recipe, and now it's ruined. What am I going to do? Tell your mum. I can't. She'll flip. And what am I going to tell Shane? And we need to think of something. Um, do you remember what was in the recipe? Can't we just write another one? I don't see why not. Mama did always say cooking was in our blood. What's first, then? Well, it was called aubergine thingy, what's it? I think there might be some aubergines in it. And Mama always cooked with tomatoes and onions. What else is nice? I like gherkins and chocolate sauce. Why not? Ooh, baked beans. Raspberry jelly. Banana. Hummus. And mayonnaise. It's nice with everything. Brilliant. Well, Maggie's brought the aubergines, but Mario's still not brought the recipe over. I'm here, and so is my recipe. I mean, my grandmother's famous recipe for <laughs> aubergine, um, surprise. <laughs> ah, I was beginning to think you weren't coming, Mario. Uh, Me? Not coming? <laughs> Why would you think that? It's not as if anything would have happened between Mama's shop and here. Right, Jay? <laughs> anyway, gotta go. Bye, Shane. Bye. Bye. OK, then. We have the aubergines, tomatoes, onions, chocolate sauce, gherkins, jelly, hummus, banana, mayonnaise and baked beans. Ah, these ingredients don't sound very Italian. Maybe I should call Mama Polenta, just to be sure. Sixteen, seventeen... Oh, who's calling me now? Ooh, ah, ah. <coughs> yes? Is everything all right, Mama Polenta? Oh! <laughs> Hello, Shane.
chain. Yes, everything is fine. Did Mario deliver the recipe? Uh, yes, he did, Mama Polenta. It's just, it's quite an unusual recipe. I just wanted to check that it's the right one. Of course it is. The polenta recipe is like no other. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Could I just check one or two of the ingredients? Don't worry, Shane. It will be delicious. Trust me. Bye-bye, Shane. Well, Izzy, Mama Polenta says it's the right recipe. Right then. Ah, let's get cooking. <laughs> And there you have it. Uh, Nonna's aubergine parmigiana. Uh. Oh, what? Ugh. Well, maybe it tastes better than it smells. Taste it then. Oh, oh, sizzling saucepans. That is absolutely disgusting. What's Mama Polenta going to say? Yoo-hoo! Ah, oh, hi, Mama Polenta. Hey. Ooh, you finished your stock take? Oh. I'm taking a break. I'm much more interested in your aubergine parmigiana. <gasps> How is it coming on? Oh, yeah, fine, fine. It's fine, Mama Polenta. Yes, everything has gone completely to plan. <gasps> Good. Can I see it? Uh, not just yet. Is that it behind your back? No. Yes, it is. Let oh. me see. What is that? The aubergine parmigiana. Dad followed the recipe exactly. Well, let me see that recipe. Uh. Oh, this is not my recipe. Well, it's the one that Mario delivered. Is it now? Oh, I think I'd better have a little chat with that boy of mine. Mario! And when Sam pulled it out of the fish, it was completely ruined. And really stinky. And that's why you made up your own recipe? Yes. Well, it's creative, I'll give you that. But why didn't you tell me right away? I thought you'd be cross with me for ruining Nonna's precious recipe. You'll probably never be able to cook it ever again. <laughs> I'll never be able to cook it again? Don't be silly. Of course I will. But, but it was ruined. It's all in here. I only wrote it down just in case. So it wasn't that precious? Oh, if it was precious, do you think I'd have trusted you with it? Phew. Hey. Mama Polenta, do you think you can write down the recipe again? We need to get cracking if we're going to have the real aubergine parmigiana ready. Why don't I show you how to make it? That would be perfect. Let's uh... get cooking! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it certainly smells better than the last one. Just like my mama used to make. <laughs> Truly, it's the smell of Tuscany. Aubergine Parmigiana for everyone. Here you go, Mario. Oh, yuck. Yeah, no thanks. Only kidding. Mmm, that's better. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> oh, Mario. Oh. Honey, honey. With Shane the Chef. <laughs> Hi, honey. Are you okay? Not really. <coughs> I've got a singing lesson with Mrs. Morris later, and I wanted to practice my scales, but I've got this cough. <coughs> I was hoping some fresh air would help. Well, I think you're a brilliant singer. Ah, a bee! Ah, uh, wh what do I do? There's nothing to be scared of. <coughs> bees won't hurt you if you don't hurt them. You would say that. Your mum loves bees so much she named you honey. You should come and see how mum looks after her bees. <coughs> it's really interesting. There's thousands of them in every hive. Thousands? Uh, really? Sounds... 
Sounds great. Got to go. Almost time for my lesson. <coughs> See ya. Bye-bye. Any sign of Maggie? She's not usually so late with our vegetable delivery. Hello? Shane, it's Maggie. It doesn't look like I'll be able to make my vegetable delivery this morning. My tuk-tuk's covered by a swarm of bees. Bees? That sounds serious. Well, don't get too close to them. You should call... Penny. She's already on her way over. If you want your veg, I'm afraid you'll have to come and collect it yourself. I'm on my way, Maggie. See you soon. What's the matter? Big emergency at the farm, Izzy. Bees all over the tuk-tuk. Come on, we can pick up our veg delivery and get a look at those bees. Uh, bees? Well, you can see why I couldn't make today's delivery. Yeah, you can't drive that. But it's really interesting to see a swarm up close, isn't it, Izzy? Uh... Are you OK? Uh, there are so many of them. Tell you what, how about you come and give me a hand? I've been so busy with those bees, I haven't got round to picking the vegetables for your delivery. Uh, OK. Oh, great. Here's Penny. <laughs> Sizzling saucepans. Penny? Hello, Shane. I came as quickly as I could. Well, <laughs> thanks. Now, where are those bees? Right here. How exciting! That is a good-sized swarm. Not to worry, though, I've brought my equipment. I just need one more thing. An assistant. Ah, uh, OK. And bees don't just make honey. They're vital for pollinating loads of different types of plants. Oh, I didn't realise they were so important. Oh, Penny knows much more about them than me. <laughs> Why don't you ask her? After all, she's the expert. I'm ready, Penny. Is that Dad? What do you want me to do first? Shouldn't that hat be on the other way around? Dad! The swarm's this way. Oops. <laughs> I think I've still got to get the hang of this hat. Shane, there you are. And two more assistants. I'm afraid I've only got one more beekeeper's suit. Izzy, would you like to put it on and help out? Me? Oh, I can't see a thing. Um, well, that's a lot of bees. Um, Go for it, Izzy. <laughs> it's not often you get a chance to see a swarm up close. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, uh -huh. thanks. Shane. Yeah? I want you to direct the smoke over the swarm. It will make them drowsy and I'll be able to coax them into this box using my bee brush. OK, Penny, here goes. Uh, Shane, uh, are you sure you're holding that the right way? Oh, oh. oh. oh my gosh. <coughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 dear. Dad, watch out. <coughs> ah. Give it to me, Dad. What? Oh. Here we go. Thank you, Missy. That's it. Just a little more. Now, the bees are just about sleepy enough to let me brush them into this box. Well done, Izzy. I can't believe it. Izzy would never get this close to so many bees. She's concentrating so hard. She hasn't got the time to be scared. There we go. One swarm all boxed. Well, that was easier than I thought. Everything's easy when you know how. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Dad! They're ready for a new home now, and I've got just the place. Want to come and see? Can we, Dad? Of course! No need to mop as you coil your rope. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi there, honey. Why so glum? I was meant to have a singing lesson, but Mrs Morris sent me home. <coughs> I've got this cough. Tickly, irritating coffee. I've got just the thing for that. I'll be two shakes of a turbot's tail. Just need a little bit of that and a pinch of this. Have a sip of this. What is it? Ugh. Seaweed tea. An old fisherman's recipe. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, really kind of you, Sam. Um, wow, look, is that a whale? A whale? Where? 
I can't see a wheel, honey. Sorry, Sam. <coughs> My mistake. Thanks for the tea. I, um, I feel better already. She drank that right down, eh, Eddie? Funny, the smell puts most people off. Oh. This empty hive will make the perfect new home for the swarm. All I have to do is open the box and give the bees a bridge to their new home. Uh, what exactly are we waiting for? There, look. All it takes is for one or two of the swarm to find their way. Wow, that's amazing. And the rest soon follow. It'll take a little while for the bees to settle in and start producing honey. Oh, but our other bees have been very busy. Would you like to help me harvest their honey? Oh, yes, please. You know, honey's more than just a food. It's an antiseptic. And it's thought to cure all sorts of ailments. Colts, for instance. It's not scientifically proven, of course. Those bees were amazing. But we still haven't decided on today's special. Uh, maybe something with honey? Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Now let's see. We've got flour, eggs, brown sugar, butter and fresh ginger. <gasps> I know what we can make. Honey cakes! Let's get cooking! Back of the oven. Great job, Dad. Hi, Mum. <coughs> Honey, why aren't you at your singing lesson? Mrs Morris said to go home until this cough has cleared up. <coughs> A special treat for our bee expert, Penny. <coughs> Are you OK, Honey? <coughs> this will cheer you up. Honey cupcake. <coughs> <laughs> it can't taste as bad as Sam's seaweed tea. Seaweed tea? Yuck. Hmm. Dad, remember what Mrs Singh said? Uh. About honey. Ah. Hot water, a dollop of Mrs Singh's honey, a squeeze of lemon and some fresh ginger. One homemade honey and lemon drink, perfect for soothing a tickly throat. I thought it might help your cough. Hmm. You know, I think it does. My throat feels a bit better and I've stopped coughing. I knew it. Honey always helps. Well, it was Izzy's idea. I think Izzy now understands bees a little better. But you were nervous about just one bee earlier. Not anymore. <laughs> you want to try a cake now? Yes, Shane, thank you. Don't thank Dad. <laughs> thank the bees. In the pink. With Shane the Chef. Ready, Izzy? Now pull. Mm. Uh, need a... uh. Yay, my first beet treat. My turn now. Uh. 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 Oh, not too hard, Mario. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can you really eat this? Of course. You can make loads of delicious things with beetroot. Even a cake. A, a cake. cake? Yeah, a cake. <laughs> <gasps> hey. Hi, honey. Sorry I'm late. I had football practice. Yeah, you need it. I know how to play football, thank you. Ha. Just watch the expert. Hey, that's my ball. Give it back. <gasps> I'm going to get it. Ha. Looks like Mario and Honey prefer football kicking to beetroot picking. Oh, <laughs> you're right there, is he? Beetroot salad? Uh, I don't know. Roast beetroot? Maybe. Mm. Beetroot tart? Morning, Shane. Parcel for you. Catch. 
Oh, hi, JG. Aha, my new kitchen aprons. I was waiting for these. Oh, that's strange. I ordered two aprons, not ten. And certainly not this size. Ooh, they're a bit on the small side. Oh, they're all kids' aprons. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just have to send them back. Hi, Dad. I've got your beetroot. Brilliant. Maggie says you can make cake with it. Is that for real? That's it. That can be today's special. Beetroot cupcakes. Izzy, you're a genius. I thought beetroot was only for salads. Aha, that's where you're mistaken. Beetroot's a wonderful vegetable. Such a lovely pink colour. Quick, we need a referee. Huh? I am definitely the best footballer. No, you're not. I scored ten goals for the school team last season. That's only because I was injured. Seriously? Are you two still arguing about football? Only because Honey won't agree I'm a better footballer than her. I'm just as good as you. Well, it's only one way to find out. A football tournament. Count me in. Back in the day, I was the best scorer in my class. Over to me, Honey. To you, Dad. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Now, when I was playing in the Mackerel Marauders, we won the Fisherman's League 20 <laughs> times in a row. <gasps> Fisherman's League? <laughs> Amateurs! Uh, Italy is the true home of football. Uh, keep it for the pitch, please. Honey, Mario, you're the team captains. I'll be the referee. And the winning team Get my special cupcakes. Mmm, I hope they're chocolate. Maybe with a little something extra. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Let's pick our teams. And I'd better go and boil my beetroot. Ha, ha, ha. Mmm, I've got more beetroot than I need to make my cupcakes. Uh, I know. I'll make some ham and beetroot rolls as well. That'll keep the footballers happy, won't it, Eddie? Wham! Wham! <laughs> Sorry, Eddie, but these rolls are for footballers only. Jay, Izzy, Maggie. Ooh, JG. Exciting. And what about me? I've been practicing my keeper uppies. Oh! Ah! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Watch this! Amazing! <gasps> <gasps> Bring it on, JG. And that's the last beetroot. Sizzling saucepans. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> I've always liked pink. Now, let's get cooking. To the oven they go. Come on, Eddie, let's get this match started. Not to Sam, he's on the other team. Oh, uh, sorry, Mario. Over here. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yes, that's that's it. It. yes. No, Mr. Singh's not on your team. Whoops! And Sin has the ball, and he's passing it. To me! To me! Heads up! No, Mr. Singh. Honey's the opposition. <gasps> Is she? It's no use. The grown-ups are hopeless. I'm here! Just in time, Dad. The grown-ups keep forgetting whose team they're on. Well, it's not our fault. We're not wearing any team colours. Ha-ha! <laughs> Apart from Shane. Oh, yeah. That was the beetroot water. You should have worn one of your new aprons, eh? That's it! That's the answer. 
Penny, I'm going to need your help with this. Of course, Shane. Everyone else, stay here and keep practising. OK. okay. Sure. One saucepan of pink beetroot water and one load of small aprons. You're going to dye the aprons pink? Yep. Well, half of them anyway. They'll make the perfect bibs for one of the teams. Fantastic. Oh, I hope this works. Whoa! Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> Looks like Eddie wants to be on a team as well. He's got better ball skills than a grown-up. Where is Shane? I'm sure he'll be here soon. Oi, oi, I'm here. OK, you two, heads or tails. Whoever guesses right, their team gets to wear the pink bibs. Tails. Heads. And heads it is. Here you go, Mario. Cool. The pink team is going to win. Shoot. Here we go! Here, I'm lucky! Ah, that's a free kick! Here we go! Fantastic! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great save, JG! Can you tell who's the best footballer yet? It's me, isn't it? Nope. It'll all depend on the final score. <laughs> Wait! Yeah! Oh, me, it's me! It's me! It's me! Oh, no. oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> great interception, Mum! Hi! <laughs> Go, Mama! George! Oh, right. Coming through! <laughs> oh. oh, no! Oh, calamity! Go! Hey, that's not fair! Well, well. Pass it over, well, Eddie! Well. Go! Well. Hey! hey. My cakes are ready. It's a draw! It's official. Honey and Mario, you're both as good as each other. <sighs> OK, agreed. Agreed. Oh, Shane! These ham and beetroot rolls are delicious. I'm saving myself for the cakes. Here you go, my special tournament cupcakes. Wow, they look fab. Team captain first. <laughs> All right. Mmm. What are they made of? Is it chocolate? Not exactly. A little cocoa, but mostly beetroot. beetroot. Oh, um, mmm. Um, um. I love beetroot. Back of the oven. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with flowers. With Shane the Chef. Here we go, Millie. Look at these carrots. Lovely and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, those vegetables are for the restaurant, not for you. Right, come with me, young lady. Ha! Ah, there. That should keep you out of trouble while I pick the rest of the vegetables. Sid, you shouldn't have. Very funny, Shane. There for Penny, as a surprise. Oh, is it her birthday? Um, no. I got them just because. Ah, oh, Sid, you big softy. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, the florist delivered them too early. I don't want Penny to see them before this afternoon. Could you look after them for me until then? Sure, no problem. I'll keep them hidden in the kitchen just in case she pops in. Ah, oh, thanks, Shane. See you later. Ooh, oh, sorry. Ha! Ah, here's that veg you ordered, Shane. Sizzling saucepans. Did I order all that? Er, uh, no, not quite. But if I didn't pick them, Millie would have eaten the lot. 
Hmm. Wow. Those vegetables look as colourful as the flowers. Hmm. But tastier. <laughs> Millie agrees with you. Wow. Have we decided? Um, vegetable chilli with onion, fennel, courgettes, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, garlic, fresh chilli, cumin and fresh coriander. Ooh, that is a very long list. Don't forget the tomatoes and red kidney beans. Let's get, get cooking! cooking. Delicious. But what are we going to do with the rest of the vegetables? <sighs> I'm not sure, but I'm certainly not going to waste them. Um, Dad, the flowers are wilting. Oh, it must be too hot in here. I'll take them to Mama Polenta's. It'll be cooler there. Ah, sizzling saucepans. Hi, Shane. Just popped in for a snack. Ah, hello, Penny. How are you? Sorry, got to go. Huh? For you. <laughs> oh, Shane! <laughs> you shouldn't have. Sorry, Mama Polenta, they're not for you. They're a surprise for Penny from Sid. It's too hot at the restaurant. Can you keep them here? Of course. Is it her birthday? No, no, we just bought them to show her what she means to him. What an old romantic. Millie! I bought you a nice juicy apple! Oh, not again! Millie! Hi, Mama Polenta. Oh! <laughs> Penny! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How um, lovely to see you! <laughs> oh, ah, yes. Uh... I'm just looking for a few things, uh, like lentils or maybe some buckwheat flour. Uh oh. Time to get out of here. Let's go turbo. We'll see you later, Penny. Hi, JG. Oh, oh, bye, JG. Oh, he dropped his bread. I'll go and catch him. No, don't. Oh, mamma mia. It looks like the coast is clear. Great. The kitchen has cooled down, so I'll go and bring the flowers back ready for Sid. <gasps> oh, no. Huh? Sam, Sam! <gasps> Oh, you shouldn't have. I didn't. I'm trying to hide them from Penny. They're supposed to be a surprise from Sid. Wait, wait. Oh. You forgot your bread. Oh. oh, Penny's coming. Quick, hide them. I don't want them. You have them. Oh, <gasps> oh calamity. Morning, JG. Oh. You forgot your bread. Oh, uh, oh. thanks, Penny. Oh, no problem. Bye. Where are the flowers? Ah, uh, down there. Oh, no! Boy, stop that! Hmm. You go, Shane. Oh, uh, thanks, Sam. Where have you been? Um, turns out keeping these hidden from Penny was trickier than we thought. Everyone has been helping, Mama Polenta, JG and Sam. Uh, thanks. I've texted Penny to meet me at the restaurant. She's on her way. OK, we better get moving. Hi, everyone. I got a text from Sid to meet him here. Have you seen him? No. <laughs> no. 
I do hope Penny likes these flowers. I'm sure she will. Come on, let's go in. Izzy, he's here. Where has Sid got to? Oh, Penny! <laughs> Have I told you how lovely you look today? <laughs> Have you done something different with your hair? <laughs> oh, um, thank you. Uh, but no, it's the same as it always is. Come on. Oh, no. <gasps> <gasps> Millie! Oh, no! The flowers! Ah, got you. <laughs> Finally! Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sid. Oh, it's OK. I don't know what I'm going to give Penny now, though. Shh! Quick, Sid! This way. Oh, Millie, you naughty girl! Oh, my surprise is ruined. I can't give her these headless flowers. I don't suppose you have any flowers I could use? No, sorry. All we have are vegetables. Vegetables? Brilliant! Izzy, you're a genius. Oh, look at that! What are you doing? Oh, where is he? <coughs> Sid, there you are. I was getting worried. <laughs> what are you up to? I've got a little surprise for you. Ta-da! <gasps> it's the most amazing and original bunch of flowers, oh, uh, vegetables, I've ever had. I love it. Thank you. But what's the occasion? Well, it's to say, I love you. Oh, Sid. I love you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's just a beautiful. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, if you think they look beautiful, just wait until you taste them. Look! Vegetable chilli, using all of the same vegetables with some wholemeal flatbreads on the side. Well Ooh, done, Dad. Count me in, Shane. And me. <laughs> Us too, please, Shane. <laughs> Yum. This is delicious. Who would have thought that these same vegetables would make such a beautiful bouquet, too? Yes but much tastier than real flowers. <laughs> well, to everyone except a goat, that is. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> Why are you all laughing? <laughs> oh, Millie! <laughs> <laughs> Food Festival. With Shane the Chef. <laughs> You're working hard, girls. Yeah. We're doing a food project for school. It's got to be in by tomorrow. Well, there's plenty of food inspiration here. There's Sam Spratt's fish, Mama Polenta's deli, Maggie's fruit and veg, of course, and let's not forget a certain restaurant run by a certain chef. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. We can make the project all about food from Munchington. Oh, good thinking. But think big. Why not get the whole town involved? Yes. Everyone in town can have stalls showing off their wares. Oh, and we can have music and and bunting? You mean like a food, food festival. festival? Now you're talking. And Dad, you can do a big cookery demonstration. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Ah, there's a lot to do by tomorrow. OK, why don't I do all the decoration and posters? Good idea, and I'll organise the stalls. The Munchington Food Festival is on. How do you like my posters? This will draw the crowds. Brilliant, honey. Check out my plans for the food stalls. Mmm, they're OK, I guess. Oh, only OK? Look, I was thinking, Mama Polenta's stall could go here and Maggie's tuk-tuk there as normal. And Dad's demonstration could be in the middle. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, let's get your posters up and we can talk about the plan later. Might be easier if I just make some changes. I had so many good ideas last night. Oh, did you? Hey, Izzy, I've got those hair bales you asked for. Where do you want them? Oh, um, just there would be great. Thanks, Maggie. OK, no problem. Can you move, please, Izzy? <sighs> 
Did I just hear Maggie? Just the person I need to see. I'm after some inspiration for my cookery demonstration later. I want to do something unusual. Come and take your pick. I've got loads to choose from. Oh, look at these. Um, what are they, Dad? Pak choy. You could cook them in so many ways. We're all ready to put up our stalls, honey. Here's the new plan, Izzy. You know what to do. I don't really know what was wrong with my plan. Here we go. This will look great. That's awesome. Hmm. I've been thinking. Let's move all of these stalls over to that end of the square. That end? But, honey, your new plan says this end. Well, I've changed my mind. It'll be better if we put the hay bale seats here. <sighs> Will it now? Have you put up those posters yet? I'm about to do that, actually. But first, let's get these stalls moved. <sighs> Hi, Sam. You got any fresh fish for me today? I need something to go with pak choy. I've got some lovely turbot you might like. Oh, that one's a beauty, Sam. Ah! Yes! Sizzling dolphins. Testing. Ooh! Testing. Ooh! A one, two. Ooh! 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 Good morning, Shane. Sam. Just testing out my old megaphone. I've made it extra loud. Yeah, so I can hear. Ah, JG, you've given me an idea. Mind if I borrow this? Hey! Get your turbo here, fresh this morning. It's lovely. Well, I never. I've got some good tunes to play, Izzy. Every song's about food. Listen. There's only one finger like more than chips. A bass line a bit so I can move my hips. Brilliant, Mario. Oh, you needn't have bothered, Mario. I've already made a playlist for the festival. The malignant whalers will surely get them going. Actually, this is now totally in the wrong place. It needs to move over there. But, honey, the plan. The plan has changed. But be quick, as we haven't got long and you need to arrange the hay bales. Huh. I thought you were both organising the food festival. So did I. But, honey, it's totally taken over. It's my megaphone. But I've got to sell my fish, you see. You boys, always squabbling. Aha! This is just what I need. Olive oil! Olive oil! Ah, from my hometown yeah. in Tuscany! Now, ah, look! It's my megaphone. <sighs> but I've got to sell my turbot. Turbot! Catch your turbot! Yeah. Ah. Just a little bit further. Come on, Mario, and you, Izzy. <sighs> oh, it's all happening today. Right, I just need a few more of your delicious vegetables. Take your pick, Shane. Ooh. Fantastic! Hi, Dad. Hi, Izzy. What time will my demonstration start later? Why don't you ask Honey? She seems to be running this food festival herself. But I thought it was a team effort. It was supposed to be, but Honey's got other ideas. Maggie, I need you to move your tuk-tuk over there. But I always park it here. It's all in the plan, Maggie. Not in my plan. <gasps> Mr Mayor! Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Mayor. You're just in time for our food festival. Yes, I'm here to perform the grand opening. Young Honey here asked me to do it. Another one of my brilliant ideas. Ugh. In that case, I'll begin. I prepared a short speech. <clears throat> a one... I declare Whoa. this food festival open. I... Ah, yeah. uh, there's no one here. You did tell everyone the festival was happening, didn't you? Of course. I clearly put lunchtime today on the posters. You mean these posters? Yes. Oh, no, I forgot about them. Oh, what have I done? It's what you haven't done that's the problem. No one will come if they don't know the festival is even happening. I'm sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. Don't be so hard on yourself, honey. You just wanted the food festival to be a success. But I've been so bossy. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Izzy. <laughs> oh, my fish are flesh. I'll have you know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then yes. Roll up, roll up. Come to my 
Munchington Food Festival. The Munchington Food Festival is taking place right now. Join us. Roll up, roll up. The Munchington Food Festival. I'll be there. Roll up, roll up. Quick, before it ends. Roll up, roll up. Come along. Yeah. Come, come to the festival. Everyone's welcome. Come, come to and Munchington Festival. These things are amazing. A terrific turbot. It. Get down to the groove. What a brilliant festival. Well done, girls. Thanks, Mrs. Singh. This is what I call teamwork. Good school project, both of you. Attention, attention. And now for the main event. Allow me to introduce... <laughs> Shane the Chef. Thank you, thank you. Gather round, everyone. Now, I want to show you what you can create from this wonderful vegetable, pak choy. I've got peppers, mama polenta's olive oil, spring onions and ginger from Maggie's stall to make pak choy stir-fry. Mm. Oh, yummy. This will look great on the Shane the Chef channel. I've also got one of Sam's fresh turbot to steam with more of the pak choy. So, let's get cooking. <laughs> There you have it. Sam's delicious turbot steamed with pak choy. And finally, a pak choy stir fry made with Mama Polenta's olive oil and Maggie's fresh vegetables. Job done. Come on, folks, tuck in. Great job, Dad. Yum. Shane, this is delicious. Something to really shout about. Uh, has anyone seen my megaphone? No. Nope. Sorry, JG. <laughs> ah! Oh, Eddie. Sounds better than Honey's music. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs>